Ladies and gentlemen, for our next instalment of the Trader Sessions, we've had gentle the Trader Sessions. They've been it seems to be being called the Trader Trader Sessions now. Uh, we have a very special guest this week. You may recognise him. Can you tell us your name, please, sir? Uh, S Stephen Amell. Hmm. What do you do for a living, living, Mr. Amell? I I guess I'm officially an actor. You're an actor. I uh, thespian. Thespian. That's nice. Are you working on anything in particular at the moment? Arrow. Arrow. Finishing up episode 92 of Arrow. <laughs> to be very you can't short say it like that. That just sounds enormous to, and to be daunting. very shortly followed by episode 93. Do you know when we're starting next year? Yes, early. Early. <laughs> just when you thought you were getting a break. The thing is, that one has to keep it in perspective, doesn't it? Because we're starting a little early this week, as Stephen just mentioned. Uh, this this season, uh, the first week of July, as opposed to the second. Yes. And it makes you think, oh, wouldn't it be nice? But at the same time, we are returning for a fifth season on a television show, so there's some perspective, right? That's correct, and you were actually the first one to teach me perspective when it came to that sort of thing. I don't know if you remember this. Um, which? <clears throat> well, much. when we were on the pilot, we all had drivers. Right. And then when we came into production, it was going to be self-drive, and I sent a note to the cast, like, well, I think that we should do and your note, and everyone agreed, and then your note back was, <clears throat> um, actually, uh, I've been down this road before, and uh, we're lucky to have a series on the air, and we should all maybe just keep our mouth shut for a little bit and uh, see how it actually kind plays of out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's easy to lose perspective in life sometimes, but uh, we are a fortunate bunch. We are indeed. Five seasons is a uh, uh, it's rarefied air. How are you feeling about how this one? I can almost use the past tense now. Went. You should not ask me about a season and how I'm feeling during the last three episodes. We'll ask a different question. Are you looking forward to the fifth season? I am looking forward <laughs> to the fifth season, and no, no, no. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with this year. This was a challenging, this was a challenging year. I mean, it's, it. Uh, I don't think anyone cares about this, but we have never been so behind as we got this year, coming out of the crossovers. Yeah. We had some illness, which we've never been affected by before. We had an insurance day for the first time. I think that logistically, it's been an it's probably been the most challenging year for me since season one. It was we were incorporating three television shows in this situation, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, see Arrow, Flash, and uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, I, being the crossover. I did throughout this calendar year. I did twenty six episodes of TV. That'll keep you on your toes, won't it? <laughs> okay. Um, and what about the hiatus, mate? What are you doing for that? I am touring the world for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> out of the shadows. <laughs> this man does not lead a dull life. No, I, I, so I'm, I'm dark for about the better part of two weeks. Uh, and then we are doing up to, but not just limited to, I believe, Miami, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, New York. Um, the UK, where I will see you briefly, I think. Yeah, when are you going to be in, in Birmingham? Yeah, I'll there, be, actually, I know I'm not doing Birmingham. Oh, you're not doing Birmingham. I'm going to do another one now. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to tack on uh, a, hopefully a day of press in, in London. And then I believe we're going to China, to Australia. Um, hopefully Toronto. Any South America? No. Huh. We were, Miami uh, in lieu of Brazil because there are health concerns at the moment. Not oh. my call, Ooh. everybody. Everyone's always asking when I'm going to come to Brazil, and I'd really love to, but uh, I don't make these decisions. Yeah. yeah. I've never been there myself, actually. I'd love to go there. Mm -hmm. Amazing place. But then I should... We thought, actually, that the press tour would, would go until, like, July 20th or so, and it sounds like it's going to finish at, at a smidgen earlier than that. So thinking that we might go to somewhere warm and isolated for three weeks go for long runs in lava strewn roads and whatever. And then just come back. <laughs> Get ready and do it all over again. Um, okay, mate, give me your... Did, did you have one particular favourite moment over this last season, let's say? Any, any particular moment where you're just like, you know what, that was a good bit of life. I really enjoyed the 15th episode with the storyline with my son. That was a, that was a, a real personal journey for me that particular episode and um sort of played into you know feelings that i have in my real life although i don't have any strange children that i know about um anybody <laughs> i'll talk about that later 
Uh, I really enjoy that episode, and but I'd say a, a particular moment. I thought that the whole Legends experience and going and playing my character thirty years from now was a was a pretty fun bit of business. Oh yeah, you uh, posted that thing. With all due respect to Paul Blackthorn, this was the greatest behind the scenes photo ever, right? You and your white hair Noah looking sort of situation. That's right. It was a good photo. Yes, it was. Yeah, I'll give you that. One. No, wait a minute. That was different. That was from the that was from the pilot when. We see Oliver for the first time, and he's long hair and beard, and I had the beard still on, but in order to eat lunch, we took off the mustache. <laughs> oh, okay. That was during the end of the, that was right at the end of the pilot. I was actually startled by how weird I looked and how young I looked. How peculiar. <laughs> you did comment on a gray hair the other day, didn't you? Oh, they're coming in hot and heavy. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think, actually, a bit of breaking news, I think we could be looking at a... At an Oliver Queen with a with a slightly different uh, hair getup next year. I want to uh, eradicate the whiteies. Possibly shorter, and possibly longer. Are you, are you talking this kind of? Thing? I think a little bit shorter. Yeah. You give the, gray, the, run the, for the, the gray. The gray. Uh, my gray hair is coming in, and we were doing a. I did a fun impersonation of Mark Guggenheim on Saturday. <laughs> or no, it was it was Friday. It's Friday. It was Saturday four, morning. Four, four in the morning. Yeah. My impersonation of Mark Guggenheim well. calling me up to tell me that I have to start coloring my hair because he got a note from the network. Eh, so you know, uh, uh, it was longer. It was longer. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we'll just we'll, we'll deal with that one because it's coming in a little bit here, but it's all over there. Yeah, well, such is life. Um, as you all know, this guy does just an amazing job at this thing. I remember in the first episode we shot, no, not the pilot, so when we first got up and running. I remember we were shooting, I know, is it that sulfur mountain, that sort of industrial bit across the water, across the other side of the Oh yeah, you were there field. that night when you were, yeah? Yeah, I think yeah. your arrow shot the gun out of my hand or something. That's right. And there was lots of leaping around going on. And it was the second episode, and oh. I, I remember sitting there, and I, you know, I didn't make it. And um, I remember thinking, this is a lot for any person to be able to take on. And how does how is he going to deal with it mentally? How is he going to deal with it physically, um, psychologically, just everything, you know? And I, it's what you've done in this last four years, mate. It's it's mind blowing the I way you that. you hold it together. You know, there's a thing called TV star-itis, which goes on. It's a dreadful disease when people get on hit TV shows and they develop this disease called TV star-itis and they think they are the centre of the universe and nothing else matters. This man just doesn't have that. He's, um, he just holds himself so well with this and sets such a great example for everybody else around to work by. So um, I we're always very, that. very thankful for that. Well, I'm just happy now that our characters are more friends because I we know. didn't Isn't it great? The- we didn't oh. speak for the first year or so. Know, well, we didn't speak for the year. If whatever we did, you just growled at me. And I, you growled and I grunted. And then, you know, for two seasons, right? But you're a little bit more, mm. you're, you're, you're a little bit more, you have a bit more of a method to you. So Oliver and Lance being so diametrically opposed, or at least from your perspective, yeah. we didn't spend a great deal of time hanging out. Yeah, it wasn't really bonding stuff, was it? I thought you were, you know. A okay. douchebag. <laughs> What is that guy's problem? He's an actor. I'm st- I am still waiting for my invite to Ojai, though. Anytime, mate. And uh, uh, actually, the one I, I we got, you know, because you got the wine of Ojai and all the rest of it, you could do all that stuff. But we talked about this before. I really want to give you a tour around some English country pubs. Oh, that would be great. That would be. That uh, would be fantastic. That's what we've. Uh, that's what we've got to get. Going. English down the line. country pub. Paul is my favorite. Oh, I tell you, mate, it's such fun. <laughs> you have vacation, Steve. I have vacation, Steve. Although I will, I will tell you, uh, one of the funnier stories from this year is that we were all going to Louisville. Uh, I'm not going to get too far into the story, but we were all going to Louisville, and we had to fly there overnight. Uh, and and the spot that we were going, uh, the convention that we were going to was was nice enough to send a, a plane. It was way too luxurious. Outrageous. It was it was really something. Mm. Uh, lucky guys, and we get about an hour into the flight, and I think everyone's just about ready to go to sleep. It's one o'clock in the morning, and Paul just goes, "Well, there's one of two ways that this can go. <laughs> we yeah. can either stop now, or we can take this to the next level. Push on through. Oh my God, <laughs> we pushed on. Through. We pushed through. We pushed it that whole weekend. We did. It, that was. We did. We we have a we have a lot of fun. We we have a lot of fun. I'm I'm uh, vacation. Steve is 
is becoming I'm becoming a I'm becoming a stereotype of myself. If there is a party, <laughs> if there's a party, all of a sudden now I'm I'm grabbing the microphone and you know if the if the DJ doesn't have the song that I'm looking for, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna sing it anyway. Why don't you do it in the road? Being the uh, the reason crowd oh favorite. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a lot of mate, you, you hold that well on that stage. You you kind of got that thing going on. It's uh, it's impressive. And then of course Neil's getting up and doing Neil his, with his harmonica. I mean. It's very sexual what he's doing with that harmonica, it's, isn't it? It's really something. You, it, him having five kids makes a lot of sense. Now you can see how that happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I presume he takes that harmonica to bed with him. I don't think that's oh, part of him and his wife's. I'd, I'd, you know. I'd say that if you were sitting right beside me. Anyway, look, we're sitting here in these t-shirts. See that? Stephen's being fantastic. He's going to help support this campaign along Paul, with all the other guys. Paul tried to put me in a medium. You should have seen that. That, that was comical. Cool. <laughs> Did not work. Um... But um, I'm off to Vietnam to do some of this stuff in a few weeks' time, and um, that's exciting. Yeah, uh, very proud, very proud of you. That's very kind of you to say, mate. You're the one that sets the precedent with all this amazing stuff that you do. So it's you know. it's fun though. It's it's fun doing good stuff. It is, you know, and we're so lucky to be in this position to yes. be able to do fun stuff and have a little bit of an effect and shine a bit of a light here and there, and. Um, you know, we will help each other when we're doing it with the various causes. You've been brilliant with all that, and. Um, and, uh, you know, in this particular course, you know, it's these rhinos, right? 90% of poached rhinos in Africa end up in Vietnam, which is kind of insane. Yeah. You know, we love you, Vietnam, but can we try and take a look at this issue? Because that rhino horn is the same thing as that fingernail. Oh, you just got my little... What did you do? <laughs> my gashed knuckle. Were you punching people? I again? wasn't. No, I was. It was. I was cleaning my house the other day, and I caught it underneath the. Oh, uh, that's the, the worst. I had I one. Sliced of, it. I had one of those the other day. Uh, Gord, our director of photography, opened a door too fast. And yeah, same spot. Yeah, no works good. for days. Um. Anyway, yeah. So this stuff is the same as your fingernail, and so clearly not a great idea. It's not going to do anything for anybody's health whatsoever. So anyway, I'm going to run around Vietnam for a couple of weeks and make a big song and dance about that. Um, we're all going to have a bit of a vacation as well over mm -hmm. this uh, hiatus. You're going to go and do some Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtle. I can never get the name right. Neither, neither, turtle ninjas. neither can I. <laughs> I'm going to have to really work two. on that. TMNT. Just say that. Yeah, man. TMNT. Two. Out of, the, sha out of the shadows. Out of the shadows. Mm -hmm. Sounds ominous. Um, thank you, Mr. Amel. You are welcome. For this. You are a fine man. Have a wonderful hiatus. I may not see you. No, you won't. See you in July crawling back. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. You're all fabulous. Oh, See you later.